What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Saturday, February 12th, 2022. And by the end of this video, hopefully this question is answered for you. Are the halftime show performers and Dr. Dre's favorite album clues to who won Super Bowl 56? And understand at the very least, they are facts. They are evidence that the Super Bowl is scripted. All Super Bowls are scripted. All NFL games are scripted. They're all completely contrived by this numerical code of letters and numbers, which is gamatria. They practice according numbers behind words. Bleach, right? Bleach is the name of Nirvana's debut album. That's what we're going to be talking about here. In an interview, in an interview with Interscope co-founder Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre expressed his love for Nirvana and their debut album, Bleach, being one of his favorites. The Defiant One's 2017 interview is another piece of predictive programming from the NFL, which showing which team is going to participate and possibly win in a future Super Bowl. In this case, the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 56, where Jay-Z will be performing at the halftime show. And here we have an excerpt from Far Out Magazine, which published this, and they erroneously put 2015 documentary, but as I'll show you, it's 2017. So Jay-Z used some of Nirvana's lyrics in Holy Grail. Tyler, the creator, has often cited Cobain as a cultural touchstone, and even Method Man has spit a few bars about the blonde singer. But it was during Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine's 2015, but 2017, documentary, The Defiant Ones, that we witnessed Dre's true affection for the, for the group. In the HBO documentary, which charged Dre's life from working on NWA in back rooms and bedrooms to becoming one of the world's foremost media moguls, the rapper opens up about the trials and tribulations of his life. And while many bands and artists have figured in his life in some shape or form, there's only one rock group which can be called his favorite, Nirvana, proclaims Dre in the film. However, if you think that Dre just has love for the anthemic Nevermind record in some kind of catch-all nod to the world of guitar-driven music, you'd be dead wrong. In 2010, the music mogul shared that he was getting rid of his record collection in a somewhat short-sighted move. The producers decided to get rid of his, eight, his near 80,000 disc collection, setting aside only three albums to cherish as his own. What I did was just went through and jotted down everything I was in love with so I could so I could order it later. I'll read this again. What I did was just went through and jotted down everything I was in love with so I could order it later, he said. He shared. Those three albums were Curtis Mayfield's Superfly, Barry White's Greatest Hits, and Nirvana's triumphant debut album, Bleach, about which Dr. Dre said, that's one of my favorite albums ever made. I still listen to that shit to work out. If you're in need of the perfect workout music, then this album comes doctor approved. And I do want to point out this eighty thousand or eighty thousand disc collection, and then setting aside only three albums: Football '83, Society of Jesus '83. So as always, these are rituals from, as you'll see, the Society of Jesus, who use gematria and other facets of Kabbalah, like date numerology, dates from birthdays, dates and calendar on their Gregorian calendar, named after Pope Gregory. They use gematria to orchestrate these rituals. So let's look at the gematria behind Cincinnati Bengals. A is the first letter, B is the second, C is the third. Again, this is an ancient practice. These people grab from Babylonia through the Knights Templar, bringing it back to the Catholic Church. So at least what the history is telling us. But anyway, Cincinnati Bengals equals 156. A is the first letter, B is the second, C is the third through Z26. When you add the values in Cincinnati Bengals, you get 156. Well, when did... Jay-Z, who's performing at the halftime show, when did his favorite album come out? On 15 slash 6. You see, this? that's what they're telling us is now. That, I swear this article earlier, they say, like, newly or recently released footage. This shit came out in 2017, but the fact that this magazine is telling you about this now as well. Cincinnati Bengals has Gamatra 156. Bleach released 15 slash 6. See, released June 15th, 1989. Kurt Cobain and Cincinnati also have Gematria. So what we're doing here is the alphabetical order, the rules of numerology. So Kurt Cobain becomes 42 because K is the 11th letter. 1 plus 1 is 2. Use the 21st letter. 2 plus 1 is 3. So you add them all up. Some Each letter is a single digit. 42. You can reverse the alphabetical order where A is 26, Z is 1. 
Kurt Cobain gives you 156. Like the release date of his debut album, 15 slash 6. You see that? Like Cincinnati Bengals equals 156. And for another tidbit, orange equals 33. When you write out 33, you get 156. So Kurt Cobain, Cincinnati have overlap. I'm just showing you this. So more importantly, Bleach was released on a date with 129 numerology. 15 plus 6 plus 19 plus 89. This has date numerology of 129. Bengals, again, we reverse the alphabetical order. CZ1, A26, Bengals, 129. So do you see this? It, Bleach comes out 15 slash 6, like Cincinnati Bengals, and that was a date with 129 and 39 numerology. Bengals also equals 39, as I'll show you in the Gamatra calculator. Reversing and reducing. See how A is 26 when you reverse? So 2 plus 6 becomes 8. Z is 1. Stuff like that. You reduce each letter to a single digit. That's why A is 8 here. So Bengals, 1, 2, 9, and 39. Like the date numerology of when Bleach came out. And then Bleach was released just over 1,704 weeks before Super Bowl 56. Released June 15th, 1989. Super Bowl 56 is Sunday, February 13th, 2022. Just over that many amount of weeks, 1,704. Cincinnati, 174. Bengals also has a match of 24. And Super Bowl 56 takes place, takes place exactly 240 weeks from the Defiant Ones documentary. See, the Defiant Ones is the, the, the debuted on 9 slash 7, 7 slash 9, Society of Jesus equals 79. 79 is the 22nd prime. It's now 2022. Ohio is the 17th state. You see Dr. Dre sitting here. Guys, this is a studio gangster, an actor for the Society of Jesus. Bengals equals 20. That's why he's in the Family Affair music video, you know, with the 34, Burrow 34. Rosak's been sharing that information a lot, and I'm glad he is because people need to see what these people are doing, how they're doing it. How it's all by these numbers all the time. Bengals in the most pure cipher, which is just alphabetical order. The rules of numerology on them, 24. Manly P. Hall says this in his own book. This is the cipher to pay attention to. Bengal, the, the most. Bengals, 24. And you just apply it yourself. Independence Day equals 74. It's on 7 slash 4. They do these rituals all the time. And when you... Do the this cipher, it always seems to be this is the one that they love to really hone into the most often for the really simple things. You know, White House 52, like government, you know, like president 52, and then we reverse and reduce, etc. But anyway, Bengals 24, 240 weeks from the, the, the beginning of that miniseries. See, 240 weeks, exactly. This 168, 1,680, I don't want to ignore that either, but I don't have too much on that right now, but don't, you know, don't ignore it if you know it. So again, July 9th, 17, see, 240 weeks, Bengals 24. In numerology, you drop the zero, it's just a placeholder. So as I've been teaching, the state of Ohio loves to encode the numbers for Buckeye into all of their rituals. This is why Super Bowl 56 is 27 days or three weeks, six days from Jimmy Iovine's upcoming 69th birthday. Buckeye has Gamacho of 2736. And keep this in mind, guys. They did these Buckeye riddles from the Super Bowl performer's birthday. That alone is enough to just let you know that the, at least the Bengals were going to the Super Bowl, you know, if, you know, whether or not they win it or not. But look at Jimmy Iovine. This is the Interscope Records co founder, supposedly. From the Super Bowl to his upcoming birthday, 27 days, 3 weeks, 6 days. And now we have the Buckeye State, Ohio, in the Super Bowl. Buckeye 2736. And Kurt Cobain, an infamous member of the 27 Club, dying at 27. Sacrificed by his Society of Jesus run record label. See how he died April 5th, 1994. Super Bowl 56 is 51 days or seven weeks two days you see this from the upcoming 28th anniversary of his death buckeye 72 cincinnati 51 see that cincinnati 51 51 days rams also equals 51 again the ram it's, that's all i'm trying to show you so rams and cincinnati in the super bowl they love to code they'll code both teams 
in these riddles because they're coding the entire Super Bowl, not just who wins. Buckeye 72. But yeah, these, this coding definitely leans more towards the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati 51, Buckeye 72, you see right here. I'm being repetitive because I know there's new people here and I'm trying to show you what they're doing. They're doing the from the birthdays, right? From the birthdays, from events to birthdays. The amount of days, the amount of weeks, syncs up with the gematria. And this gematria syncs up with the date numerology. For example, the, the governor of Ohio right now at the time of this video, Mike DeWine, look at his birth numerology. 47 is the 15th prime number, born 1 slash 5 and 47, date with 27 life lesson number, 72 numerology, 360 days remaining, Buckeye 27, 72, 36. And 117, as we'll see later. So here's where it gets really spicy. Super Bowl 56 comes 72 days from Jay-Z's birthday. Super Bowl, look at this, 72 days from Jay-Z's birthday. Buckeye 72. See that? The Buckeye State, now in the Super Bowl. 72 days from his birthday. December 4th to the Super Bowl. Also 10 weeks, 2 days. Orange equals 102. The Bengals are orange. It's the 102nd season of the NFL. Excuse me. It is, yeah. See, that's what I meant to say. 102nd season. While we're on the topic of Super Bowl halftime performers, look at the Buckeye synchronicities from Snoop Dogg's birthday. This is what was blowing my mind. Look at his birthday. 117. 117 days from his birthday to Super Bowl. Let me pull up Buckeye so you can see it all together. I, I guys, I teach about these riddles all the time. Buckeye 117, 72, 27, 36. So 72 days from Jay Z's birthday, 117 days from Snoop Dogg's birthday. You know how these are the odds of this happening? Again, not even just Gamatri coming out now. It's the Buckeye pattern on top of that. So it's another, it's another layer of probability. The Buckeye pattern coming out on this as well. The odds are zero. Literally zero. I mean, it, it, the, the number is so fucking small. Because again, I've had many, there's many talented artists, and I'm not calling Jay Z talented. I'm just saying there, there's, hell, there's, you guys, we live in a world of mediocrity. You don't need talented artists. You can have no talents. You can have a bunch of losers. It doesn't matter. There's so many artists they could have had that are big and popular. But no, they have someone with 72 days from his birthday and 117 from his birthday. It's just crazy. Buckeye 117, Ohio equals 117 in their Jewish cipher, which is based on the Latin alphabet. It's their way of getting larger numbers out of smaller names and words. From Kendrick Lamar's birthday, he's also performing. It's seven months, 27 days. Buckeye 7227. See? Also, there's 241, the 53rd prime. Yes, Los Angeles 53. They're in the Super Bowl. 53 is the 16th prime. Both teams are trying to go for a 1 and 6 record. And also. I did link Zach's article on Yellow Springs, Ohio, on Xavier University, Dave Chappelle, Big 241 Ritual, to check out how, more how they use this, that number. I will go more into it, but I want to just, you know, really keep it streamlined on these particular examples. Like Eminem's birthday. His birthday was incredible. Come on, look at Eminem's birthday, yo. October 17th, 1972. Are you seeing this? Buckeye 7227. I mean, come on. It's 117 days. From Snoop Dogg's birthday, 72 days from Jay-Z's, right? And that's Eminem's birthday. In numerology, you drop to zero. So 11772 is his birthday. Like Buckeye 72117. You guys, these are three. These main ones are coming from three of the what five performers. Come on. How, how could you deny this? This is impossible to happen organically. It's fucking impossible. Because think about it, you can say what are the odds, but it's happening during a Super Bowl. Like, it's not like it's some everyday thing or something that happens every month. Or No, it's during a Super Bowl on top of that. The odds are zero. The number is so small, you, you might as well say zero. Seven months, 27 days. Emin from Kendrick Lamar's birthday again. And then, again, Buckeye 117, 72. This is Eminem's birthday. And it's 17 weeks from his birthday. Ohio's a 17th state. I know Eminem's 59. I don't think it's 119, but I just want to double check. Yeah, it's, it's 103, the 27 prime, Buckeye 27. Of course. Of course. Eminem 59, Ohio, the 17th state. Mary J. Blige. Her birthday is January 11th, 1971. She's 51 at the time. Cincinnati equals 51. And her name equals the same thing as Bengals. Mary J. Blige 102, like orange. And 60 like Bengals. 
So it shares Gamatria. It's not a super match, but it shares Gamatria. And I will tell you, you know, nigger equals 60, 48, and 102. Black, yo, numbers they used to disparage black people, mock them in her name. That's why you have all these black people on stage, including 59 encoded Eminem. I know he's white, but his name equals 59 like Negro for the 100 second season. Yeah, we could have had Madonna or some Madonna-like person, Katy Perry. So many white people we could have had, but we have a bunch of black people, a bunch of N-words on the stage during the 100 second season. Because that word equals 102. See that? Like the word orange. You know, what a good what a good year for the Bengals to be there and possibly win. So Super Bowl 56 is 10 months, 29 days from Mary J. Blige's upcoming 52nd birthday. Bengals equals 129. So you 10 months, 29 days. And it's also 33 days from her 51st birthday. Orange equals 33. And then Mary J. Blige has the same Gamatra as Tiger with the 76 and the 59. And again, these are Negro numbers. Negro 76, 59. So we have a bunch of Negroes on the stage entertaining you during the halftime show. So Kurt Cobain's death, this is his death date. You got National Football League 1, 2, 2, NFL 32 with, with 32 teams, Buckeye 27. 103 to 27 prime ritual 27 he died at 27 years old this is the the death date that's why it's called the 27 club these are rituals ritual 27 103 to 27 prime in the chaldean cipher i know chaldeans and septenary they use like hand in hand but sacrifice yep is 27 in chaldean as well but notice how this entire presentation, I have not used those ciphers, which, again, they're important, but don't sit there and think I'm using, you know, so pulling, no, I'm showing you different points. For these main rituals, I've been using the alphabetical order, the rules of numerology, reverse the alphabetical order, and the rules of numerology. That's all I did. I show you how Ohio's 117, but you don't need that fact because you know Buckeye's 117, but it is important to know that Ohio equals 117 as well. So Interscope equals 56. This is the you know, label from Jimmy Iovine. Interscope 56, the Society of Jesus, the Defiant Ones equals the same thing as Catholic. This is just a branding, you know, showing you who's responsible, the Catholic Church. Jimmy Iovine, 144. I mean, look at this crap. Jesuit order numbers in his name. Defiant Ones like Catholic. Interscope 56. And look at look at this crap. Catholic. Attend a Catholic school in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York equals 223, like Masonic. Catholic high school. I mean, bro. Okay, At, you know, to an Italian, Italian working class family, let you know, he's Italian, like how the, how the Jesuits are in Rome, Italy, in the Vatican, well, all, all roads lead to Rome, they're in the Vatican, because that's technically not Rome, but you know what I mean, Nirvana, Burrow, su suicide, you know, Joe Burrow, 34, we have Jay-Z wearing the 34 in the Family Affair video, Nirvana, 47, like suicide, yeah, so we're done with it, we're done with this, and no point making this longer, all that in under 20 minutes, that's that's fantastic. But here's the recap. Come on, here's the recap. Use your brain. I get like literally, you cannot leave this video thinking that the NFL is not scripted. You can't. That means that you're you're just stupid. Like you like I'm not trying to insult you, but how else am I supposed to say it? You that means your brain can't comprehend how this is all impossible to happen as one big coincidence. And it hap this shit happens every single year. But no, I'm not gonna buy that it's a coincidence. Again, that's 72 days from Jay-Z's birthday, he's performing at the Super Bowl. And 117 days from Subak's birthday, he's performing at the Super Bowl. I cannot believe that at all it, as a coincidence. Come on. And then again, Buckeye 17. And, and then I have so many videos on this channel. So many videos teaching about Ohio, Buckeye. I have a playlist on it. You can just search Ohio. You find it all the time. I mean, come on. Yeah, the 727 from Kendrick Lamar, and then the Eminem's birthday is 11772. Like, how, how can this be his birthday? It's 117 days from Snoop Dogg's birthday and 72 days from Jay Z. And then, and for, again, again, so if this could have happened any other Super Bowl, but it's happening at a Super Bowl where a Buckeye team is going to be there. That's the whole point, too. The odds are fucking extremely, excruciatingly low. 
it's pretty much as close to zero as you can possibly get. So I really hope this wakes people up to who's responsible, the Society of Jesus, what they're doing, this gematria practice, dates from the, from the birthday with the Gregorian calendar, how it's synced up with these rigged sports leagues. Thanks for watching. Peace out.